Welcome to another edition of Celebrity Mixer. I'm your host, Alexis Renee, and today's special guest is Grammy-nominated, Billboard Music Award winner, and seven-time Stella Award winner, J.J. Harrison. He directs the choir, Youthful Praise, and they're releasing their 10th album, Miracle Worker, on July 26th. On the same date, he's releasing a book with his beautiful wife, Trina Harrison, called A Miracle Marriage. I'm interviewing this busy gospel singer by phone and I'll have everything eager fans want to know about JJ's new album, Book and Tour, in just a few. So make sure you stay tuned, you don't wanna miss it. Before we talk about your new work, I want to point out the blessings and success that you've had with your last album and single, You Deserve It. I mean, you've topped charts, performed on every major stage and won awards. Like, how was that ride? Well, you know, it was really incredible because it was uh, totally unexpected. We weren't, um, I don't know, we just didn't go into that record with the thought of this is going to be the one. It was really like supposed to be a celebration of all the music we ever released prior. And we added a few new songs. And one of those songs, of course, was You Deserve It. And we had no idea what God was going to do with that song. So it's still so humbling. And we just have to give all the glory to Him because it really wasn't anything we planned. Absolutely. Well, congratulations. And that was so inspiring. I mean, you're doing a great job. You're like the goat of gospel right now. <laughs> oh, wow. Praise God. Yes. Thank you so much. And so you're dropping an album and book on the same day. So bravo. Um, and then let's start with the album, Miracle Worker. Can you tell us a little bit about it? Sure. Yeah, it was um, the, the title track, Miracle Worker. It was a song written by a young man in Wichita, which was, a, was actually singing on the song, which and um, he, he, he was born with a rare blood disorder. And the doctors haven't been able to figure it out, so he's living with this disorder. But he's believing God for a miracle. And we just decided to stand with him and believe Absolutely. for a miracle in his life. And, you know, the whole project is made up of a group of songs that are in support of people getting their miracle. The last project was um, our our praise offering to God, this project is our pull on, on him, it is our request for him to do what he did in the Bible. And I think mm -hmm. it's going to be um, impactful on everybody that's about every life that hears it. Mm -hmm. um, we recorded half of it in Nigeria and half of it here, and we're just really proud of how it came out. Wow, that's amazing. Such a touching story. I mean, I, I can't wait. It's like it's amazing to hear those type of songs and i love when you know something you listen to music and it really touch and you can relate to it so it's awesome now you have Thank a you book so you're welcome so you're releasing a book like we just said and it's called a miracle marriage right um and it's co-written by your lovely wife which is such an amazing thing uh can you tell my people <laughs> why it's relevant in today's society oh yeah um my wife and i got married 25 years ago this year and when we first got married, um, we, we were kids, literally. We didn't go to any counseling. Um, we actually didn't even tell anybody we were getting married. We went to the Justice of the Peace. And just, you know, <laughs> stuck and got married. Mm -hmm. And because because we, you know, we were kids, we definitely weren't ready for the commitment that marriage requires. So we ran into mar uh, marital trouble as soon as we got married. Wow. And we were getting divorced and everything. We were oh, about wow. to split up. And God changed us and changed our relationship. And because of that, we went from being in divorce court to marriage counselors. That's amazing. So that's a miracle in itself. Yeah. And what the, what the book details is our, um, are the steps we took to get to that miracle. These things don't happen overnight. Um, there's not some shine of light from heaven and everything is, is back where it should be. God used us to get ourselves together. Um, and what we're doing is sharing and being very transparent about what we did to get our life together and we're hoping that any couple that's going through anything or people that are even looking to get married they'll mm -hmm. be able to read and see things that are required to have a good relationship oh, that's amazing it's such a sounds like a such great outline to those that like you say are looking to get married and it's not just an easy road like you got to work at it yeah, exactly Yes, Absolutely. I, I love it. So you guys have written other books as well, too. So can you touch on that? Give me a brief outline of those books. Well, my wife, is um, she's done most of the writing, actually. She's um, released a, 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 like a little manuscript called 14 Ways, 14 Days, because um, we always talk about Valentine's Day. And it was always like, you know, this big hype on love for one day a year. But what she really talked about was how you can show love to your husband or your wife or even your um, significant other um, in little ways rather than having one big 
date daddy on Valentine's Day. But that's yeah. the only two books we have out. Okay, that sounds that sounds good. I'm gonna have to check that one out too. Um, now, okay, so tell me, how do you balance your work, family, rehearsal, touring? I mean, writing, all that stuff. How are you able to balance that? Well, the, I, my wife says all the time, there really is no balance. Uh, it's really prioritization. Um, if our first priority is our relationship with God. Second is our relationship with our family. After that, we um, we go into the several things we do as far as ministry is concerned. But the great thing is we have an amazing team of mm-hmm. people that support us. Um, and we don't look at them as people that work for us or, for, for us or with us, mm-hmm. but they're partnering with us to make sure we are able to minister effectively but still have the home life that we need. Um, so we're really thankful for the people who are in our lives that help support us by making sure everything happens on the business side so we can focus on our natural and our, our family and then still be able to minister at the same time. Absolutely. It always takes a strong team to keep you going and get you where you Absolutely. need to be. Yes. So, okay, you started a record label called Jamestown Music. Uh, what other artists are on your label? Um, right now, um, we started with just YT, of course. And then we signed and released one song from a guy named Bill Thompson, who had a song called My Worship, which really took off. Mm-hmm. So we're proud of that. There's also a young guy named Tim Reddick. Um, he's the worship leader. who also He has a song on our new record as well. And then um, w- what we've done is everyone who's in you for praise, there are a lot of different soloists that have amazing voices, amazing careers, amazing writers. So we've allowed them this platform to say, hey, if you want to release music, just let this be your base. So the first one has done that is a guy named Gregory Kirk- Greg Kirkwood, um, who's actually um, our vocal director, but he's been in Tyler Perry, Perry plays. Awesome. He was just in Tyler Perry's recent movie. Um, he was the guy who sung at the funeral. That, that's um, Greg Kirkwood. Oh, so we're proud of him. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, yeah, we, we love to support the people who are within the ministry instead of going out to look for people that are outside the ministry. Yes, I love that thinking. And so on your tour, besides your lead single, of course, Miracle Worker, are you going to be performing any other of your songs off of the new album? Absolutely. I mean, we have quite a few songs that we can do. We have a song called Onaga, which is an African song um, written by a good friend of mine named Tim, um, Tim Godfrey. We recorded it together in Nigeria. And it's so mm-hmm. crazy. I mean, we won't do it everywhere, but mm-hmm. everywhere we sing that song, it gets <laughs> so hype. So there are several songs we're going to do. Um, but for the most part, what we want to do every time we travel is take people through a journey yes. of where we went from uh, the beginning to now. We don't want to just do new music because it, then it becomes a concert. But this is more like a worship experience. Yes. I love those. I love attending concerts. That's like they have you, they give you that feel. Um, and then, so what is your writing process? Well, usually uh, the songs I write come out of a worship experience. Um, for the most part, you know, we're leading worship and we're singing something, and then something just happens in the moment, and we love to record those because we we already know what the response is. Mm-hmm. And then there's you know, sometimes where I'll um, I'll listen to the word literally, so I'll. I let the Bible play on uh, YouTube and search for King James version. <laughs> uh, mm-hmm. And I did that once, and then I wrote a whole record based on stories I heard in the Bible. Wow. And then one record I wrote uh, based on T.D. Jake's messages. So it, it's different processes for a different seasons. But mm-hmm. this time, um, we, we what I really tried to do for this new record is partner with other younger writers mm-hmm. and give them an opportunity to release music and you know of course I shine it up do it, make a song like Evil Praise and then we release it so it's not just our sound but it's relevant to what's happening today yes I love it reach back and bring, and bring the youth along that's amazing and so who Absolutely. are some of you yes and who are some of your influences um there's so many Israel Hogan Ty Tribute um love them Donald Lawrence mm-hmm. Travis Green um Whole, uh, just a culmination of so many great artists Fred Hammond, Hezekiah Walker all these guys have really influenced me musically and you can hear it in our music if you mm-hmm. listen yes and so what advice would you give to up and comers singers or songwriters I would definitely say to stay true to what God has given you and don't change with the fad of the day um, it seems like gospel music goes through these fads mm-hmm. and stages like at one, at one point it was all traditional then it went 
to jazz gospel and then it went to praise and worship and now I'm not even sure where we are it's like a mixture of all of it mm-hmm. and if you change every time the fad changes you'll lose your identity exactly. um, so that's why we respect people like Richard Smallwood um, who, who's had a consistent sound for, for many years and it sounded significant to him find your sound and stick with it yes I love it I love it and so how can people keep up with you or follow you I'm all over the social media. My Instagram is at JJ Hairston. Twitter is JJ underscore Hairston. Facebook is Youthful Praise. Um, if, if you want to reach me, it's really me. I'd love to hear from you. So hit us up on social media. And we have a website, of course, which is JJHairston.com. Awesome. And then what I like to do after every interview is ask my people if you can please leave a word of inspiration for my people. Wow. Um, the Bible says in Romans 8, 28, for, for we know all things work together for those who love the Lord and call the call to his purpose. Stop worrying about what's happening now. Mm. Just be focused. Stay true to what God has ta- called you to do. And don't worry about what's not looking right. Because, you know, whatever it is, whether it's good or bad, it's going to work out for your good. Absolutely. Amen. I love that. And then, so my last thing is, I want to just thank you for taking the time to interview with me um, on my show today. Um, hopefully, one day when you come back, we can sit down and do a one-on-one interview in person. I would love it. I know you're going to be here August 1st, so I'm putting that little bug in your ear. <laughs> okay, we'll see what we can do. <laughs> okay, awesome. Thank you so very much. I hope you have a blessed rest of the day, and thank you for blessing me. You too, thanks so thank much. Thank you. All right, guys, so I hope you enjoyed my interview with J.J. Harrison. Now, don't forget to pick up his album on July 26th, as well as his book. But to stay up to date with more interviews like this one, you can always go to CelebrityMixer.com. That's Mixer with the Y. I'm your girl, Alexis Renee. I would like if you would like, comment, and subscribe to this video. You've been watching Celebrity Mixer. But remember, stay right here. Stay mixed in.